Hey everybody, welcome to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to come out with new content on the regular basis, sometimes daily, sometimes not, but you know, it just, it, it's kind of how my schedule works out. And with all that said, let's get into today's video. So, Mitchell Trubisky is becoming the hottest quarterback. No, I'm not talking about looks. I'm, I'm talking about the hottest quarterback commodity right now in the offseason of 2022. As we know, there are several quarterback-hungry teams this offseason who is looking for a quarterback, and Mitch Trubisky is suddenly, he finds his... Well, he just finds his stock rising, and a lot of teams are getting very interested in him. And, of course, the Washington Commanders being one of those teams, they view him right now as a plan B. But plan B is starting to become more and more of a plan A. In fact, a lot of, a lot of people are starting to talk more about Mitchell Trubisky to the Commanders than what they are... A uh, Russell Wilson and you know probably because you know people still feel like Russell Wilson is a far-fetched deal for the Washington Commanders why well because in years past nobody wanted or nobody worth their grain of salt I guess you would say who still has a lot of tread left on their tires uh, wanted to come to Washington because they viewed Washington as a dysfunctional franchise and a team that pretty much are going nowhere if you go to that organization. And you look at some of the players who did come here, uh, some of them, I mean, they had some success. I mean, Alex Smith, yes, he had that horrific injury. So you could argue that, well, guess what, you know, Alex Smith came here and virtually ended his career because of that horrific injury, but that really had nothing to do with the team, per se. Had probably more to do with, uh, you know, the field, maybe, uh, and also just getting sacked. And, and Anyway, he still wound up having a winning record under his belt, with all of the games that he played in while he was in, here in Washington. So he left a winner. Having said all that, you know, a lot of us dream to actually be able to land a true franchise quarterback. We have not had a true franchise quarterback in decades. You know, you look at it, you look back on it, our last true franchise quarterback, and people can argue this, I would really argue our last true franchise quarterback probably was Joe Theismann. And people will even argue Joe Theismann wasn't even what you consider a true franchise quarterback. You would have to go back to the days of Sonny Jurgensen as being your franchise quarterback. I could probably see that. He was a little bit before my time. I was, I was too young to be able to enjoy watching Sonny play, but I respect that, and I probably can't argue that that point. Uh, but I did get to see Joe Theismann play, and Joe Theismann, you know, took us to two Super Bowls, won one of those Super Bowls, and so, you know, I always kind of felt that he was a franchise quarterback for us. In retrospect, you go back and you look, and it's like, well, you know, how many of those years did he actually start for the Washington Redskins? And uh, I guess that's when you start to look at it and say, well, in today's standards, a franchise quarterback plays for one particular team, you know, more than four or five years. But regardless, Mitchell Trubisky, um, you know, a lot of us don't get very, you know, excited about uh, Trubisky because you know he had a decent year his rookie season with Chicago took him to the playoffs he has been to the Pro Bowl um, but you know he, he started reg regressing just 
didn't really seem to be like that number one or you know first rounder type of um, pick that you would assume he should be, and you know so he, his start to his NFL career has not been a great one. However, the Bills are really pumping him up as being a starter in the NFL, and they're they're very high on him, and they have nothing but praise for him. Which you know then again you find it odd. It's like, well, if you're praising him so much, I know you guys have um, your starting quarterback, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, but, you know, you're letting him go after one season. You know, if he's such a starter and he's willing to, you know, maybe hang around for another season, wouldn't it be great knowing that you have a starting quality quarterback you know, as a backup in case your star quarterback goes down. And so, you know, it's, it, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors when you get into the off season. You know, teams are going to say a lot of things about these players. and But I don't know. I, on the other hand, the Bills probably don't have any reason to, you know, be misleading anybody about Mitch Trubisky. They're probably generally saying, hey, you know, this guy – works hard, he's very athletic, which he is. You know, he's got a good arm. Um, I think he can be a good quality quarterback. A lot of people felt like he just was not a good fit in uh, Jim Nagy's offense. Uh, so he just didn't have a, a good opportunity, wasn't really put in a good situation, is what a lot of people are saying. And, you know, that this could very well be the case. And so... We have to keep an open mind with this. Um, is he my first choice? No. Certainly Russell Wilson is my first choice. And I feel like that Washington is still trying to pursue Russell Wilson. And I still feel like Russell Wilson is going to be our day one starting quarterback. But a lot of other teams feel the same way. So it really comes down to how much that we are willing to give up, you know, to you know, how much are we willing to outbid other teams for the services of Russell Wilson? I think Wilson would be very happy coming here to Washington. But if not, Mitchell Trubisky is really starting to become the quarterback that everybody is wanting to grab. He's 27 years old. He's young. He's got a lot of years left. You know, if he turns into the quarterback that everybody feels like he could be, then you're looking at the next 10 years with your quarterback. At this point, there may not even be a reason to use that number 11th uh, pick. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, if you're picking Mitch, uh, you know, to be your next quarterback, then that just signals that you're going to get a rookie quarterback in here this year. Not That's not necessarily true. I think if you do pick up Mitchell Trubisky, then I think you feel like that he is good enough quarterback that he's going to be your starter from here on out. He's not going to be, be a bridge quarterback. You've got Taylor Heineke, who already knows the offense, who's going to be able to remain in Washington for at least another year, who can be a solid backup for you. So you're, you're set at quarterback. That's your thinking if you're Ron Rivera with Mitchell Trubisky. So that's probably his thinking. If he gets Mitch, he doesn't need to use that 11th um, position there in the first round for a quarterback. He can use that to maybe draft another offensive lineman because we all know that we're going to be losing Brandon Sheriff. More than likely, Sheriff is going to Cincinnati. So that's probably what's going to happen. Now, I'm still holding out hope that Russell Wilson is going to come here, but Things are gaining a lot of steam for Mitchell Trubisky. So don't be surprised if, you know, come March. Hey, guess what? Today is March, right? We're getting closer to free agency, folks. So in the next week or so, do not be surprised if you wind up hearing it's either going to be Russell Wilson or it's going to be Mitchell Trubisky. One of those two guys, I'm guarantee you, is probably going to be in a Washington Commander's uniform next year. And my bet is it's going to be...